This video presentation and discussion is to present to you, the viewers, an update number seven on the ongoing construction of Ekulobia reinforced concrete flyover bridge in Ekulobia City, Anambra State, Nigeria. And looking at the area view footage or map, you can see that this bridge in Ekulobia City is connected by a road network to neighboring cities or towns of Ethiopia, Nanka, and Oko. It should be noted that the connecting roads are currently being reconstructed or constructed simultaneously with the Ekulobia flyover bridge. The connecting roads include the Nanka Ekulobia Aguata Local Government Headquarters Road, the Ekulobia Oko Road, and the Ekulobia Isofia Road. Now, moving forward with the discussion of the scope or the extent of work involved in the installation or erection of the precast girders or larger beams in Ekulobia Flyover Bridge. Now, you the viewers are currently looking at the footprint plan or the area where the Ekulobia Flyover Bridge is being constructed. It appears that the Ekulobia Flyover Bridge is being constructed with a length of about 1,000 feet or 300 meters and 1,500 feet or 450 meters. And looking at the video, you can see that there are six reinforced precast concrete girders or larger beams that are being installed or erected between bridge span on top of the already constructed bridge concrete piers. Also, looking at the area view of the flyover bridge, you can tell that a Colombia flyover bridge has a total of six long bridge spans between two piers or between bridge abutment and bridge pier. And multiplying the six larger beams or girders between each span by six spans, it will result in a total of 36 larger beams or girders that are being installed by the contractor on the five substructure piers and two substructure abutments that have already been constructed. Noting that these 36 precast concrete girders or larger beams were previously constructed on the ground and within the on the ground and within the project limit between the already constructed bridge piers, thereby saving the project a lot of money that would have been spent in transporting the 36 girders to the project site. Now, moving forward to the installation or the erection of the 36 reinforced concrete girders or larger beams procedure. Now, looking at the video, you can see that the contractor is using two large capacity cranes or lifters to lift each reinforced concrete larger beams or girder from the ground and then setting it on top of the five piers and two abutments one at a time. Also, you can see that the construction workers and the crane operators are working together in teamwork to guide each larger beam or girder to their final location or destination where they are safely secured in place. I must add that it is a beauty to watch. Now, in closing, Assuming that the contractor is installing or erecting two larger beams or girders a, a day, a day, I am projecting that it will take the contractor a total of about 18 work days to complete the setting of the 36 beams on top of the 72 reinforced concrete beam seats that we have already constructed on top of the five piers and two abutments. Now, this completes the video presentation of the update number seven on the ongoing construction of a Colombia flyover bridge in a Colombia city, Anambra State, Nigeria.
Stay tuned for the next update. Now, thanks for watching this video. Please click the like button and share the video with your friends and relatives. Very important. Also, click the subscribe button. It is free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Now, thanks again for watching. And bye for now. And bye for now. Thanks.